Hello everyone. Division. Dividing by multiples of a 10. Okay, so if we're dividing by multiples of 10, we have to consider this as an introduction to two-digit divisors. Why is it an introduction? Because it's still two-digit divisors. All right, check this out. When dividing by multiples of 10, it is best to think of compatible, compatible numbers. What are compatible numbers? Well, numbers are that work together easily. So think about the times table, okay? Three times what equals six? Three times two. Well, those are compatible numbers, okay? So why do I say three and two? Check this out. 30 goes into 60 how many times? Oh, look. We can cover it. Three goes into six. How many times? Two. So 30 goes into six, zero. 30 goes into 60, two times. That's 60, right? Then drop down a uh, minus. So that's 60, two. 30 goes into 62, two times. Two times 30 is 60. So two, 22 remainder two. That simple. 40 goes into two, zero times. 40 goes into 20, zero times. 28, zero times. Compatible numbers. How many times does four go into 28? Four times seven is 28. That is why your, your times tables are so important. They never go away. Check this out. 40 times seven, that's 280, okay? Um, if we subtract, that would just be a remainder of four. Seven remainder of four. How awesome is that? So if you look for compatible numbers, it will help you in multiplication, okay? Always. Seven remainder four. Next question. In this video, we have eight examples, so it won't be too long here. 20 goes into 1, 0 times. 20 goes into 16, 0 times. But let's look at our compatible numbers. 2 and 16. 8. 20 times 8, let's figure that out. 8 times 20 would be 0. 8 times 2 is 16. Whoa! 8 remainder of 4. 20 goes into 8, 0 times. 20 goes into 80. Four times. Four times 20 is 80. So that will be 57. Huh, 20 times 2, because 20 times 3 is 60, and 60 is bigger, so we can't do it. So 20 times 2 is 40. 57 minus 40 is 17, so it's 42, remainder 17. Remember, this is a video. Please feel free to stop, slow down, rewind, watch again. 30 goes into 0, or 6, 0 times. 30 goes into 69, 2 times. 3 times 2 is 6. So 2 times 30 is 60, uh, minus 9, drop our 6, so that would be 96. 30 goes into 90, 3 times 3 is 90, or 3 times 3 is 9. 23. So that'd be 90. Subtract 23, remainder 6. 40, 0. Goes into 36, 0 times. 4 and six and 36. Compatible numbers. 4 times 9 is 36. Right? So na, uh, 0, 367. 9, remainder of 7. Pretty cool, right? Compatible numbers. All right. So these are our last two questions, and then we will be done with this video. 90 does not go into 5. 90 does not go into 56. 9 goes into 56 six times, right? Um, because check this out. Always, when you're multiplying by 9, you can just count on your hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equals 54. Isn't that cool? 54. 5 is in the tens place, 4 in the ones place. Uh, 0, 56, or 54. 
Okay. Uh, would be eight. Twenty-eight. All right. So now you have a six remainder. Twenty-eight. Pretty cool. Forty goes into two. Zero times forty goes into twenty-nine. Zero times forty goes into twenty-eight. Four times seven is twenty-eight. Zero, twenty, two hundred and eighty. That would be one nine, right? So seven remainder of nineteen. Hope that everybody enjoyed this video. Hope this makes sense as an introduction to two digit divisors. Uh, have a good day. We'll see you next time.